Welcome to Take Care guys, this is Sora Weird and today I'm back with the Darkness Redefined version 2 and it's a custom ROM for Redmi Note 4. Well guys, uh, this ROM is a very 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 good ROM. I mean you can easily go for that. The main attraction of this ROM is its black theme. Uh, people who are uh, following me for quite a long time knows that uh, my favorite color is black at least for mobile phones and uh, the good thing is that you get OT updates uh, from these custom ROMs this is a very good inclusion and I'm very happy that the custom ROM development is taking a whole nother level I mean before uh, I mean before Redmi Note 4 I, I can't remember getting OT updates in custom ROMs in Redmi 3s uh, that's a very good thing well it runs on Nougat I hope you have seen that and 7.1.2 that's a very good thing and yeah it is an official build so you don't have to worry about it we will get further uh, support for this rom um, if you really want to do more uh, development in your device make sure to do enable the usb debugging well uh, this is a very good rom only one bug which is very common and it is the jump to camera uh, to uh, the thing is uh, pressing the pressing the power button twice takes you to the camera app sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I get around uh, 1.5 GB free on the very first boot. Now, guys, uh, one thing I, I would love to mention is that that uh, gesture of uh, double tap, double press the camera to go to the uh, double press the volume uh, power button to go to the camera app. It does not uh, work properly, but for most of the time, it works just okay. We get high touch sensitivity option, which is the clove mode. It has also become a norm. Uh, Ma Magix, Magix manager. Some say Magix. Uh, I say Magix. <laughs> I love Maggie. No, I don't. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Magix manager or Magix manager, whatever you call it, it is in there. In, and it's uh, yes, it does support uh, you know super issue. I mean, it is pre rooted and more than that, it does support uh, exposed modules. The darkness arena is actually the customization hub, and you can there are few basic uh, customizations and there are a few uh, pro level customizations now it entirely depends up to you whether you should use it or not in case of battery backup i haven't tested uh, the battery performance still 20 percent but uh, i'm still using it the darkness redefined rom and the battery performance is good it's just like miui not not better than that not less than that it's just good i mean 4000 milliampere battery is way more than you can expect i mean battery backup is one to one and a half day based on normal to moderate issue, moderate usage you don't have to worry about battery backup now none, none of the custom roms which are coming currently for redmi note 4 has battery issues the, uh, and uh, there are few roms that are very much stock and uh, they do give better performance unlike this one this one has got some pre-installed apps 61000 on uh android benchmark i hope you've seen that that's average that's okay and there is uh, the audio effects audio effects you all know that audio effects the uh, equalizer i would have expect i would expected uh actually expected actually viper for android but it is not there so there is a browser there is the via browser and it's actually a web browser you can easily search or can easily go to any url you want and uh, Viper for Android in, would be a better option. So developers, if you are watching this video, if you are listening to me, uh, enable. Uh, I mean, give us the Viper for Android. It's a better option than uh, than that one, that equalizer. So geo voltage calling works. I haven't tested video calling is because there is no support for that as of now. Voltage calling works without any hassle. The quality is good. I haven't faced any uh, you know call drops uh, still now. And uh, camera app is also good. Basically, there is nothing bad in this ROM. I quite, I really love the ROM, especially the back, uh, you know, the black outlook, the black color. It is, it looks great on my, this, uh, you know, gray colored Redmi Note 4. Uh, for a uh, golden edition, it might not be that much good, but for black editions, I mean, for black front, like my device, it is just, just, and just awesome and uh, this is all that i had to say now one more thing i'm gonna show you is the uh, video calling i mean the video shooting thing is that uh, there is no video crop that is a very good thing it doesn't zoom in so if you are shooting a photo you can easily go to video and you don't have to move back to take that perfect shot and that's a very good advantage for a lot of people who prefer videography and photography at the same time i actually prefer the fact and previously the rom that i actually reviewed there was the issue of uh, zooming in a bit while shooting video but in this rom there is nothing such and uh, guys uh, this is all and uh, the fingerprint scanner also works pretty fine and uh, i would have expected viper for android so let's just hope that they provide us viper for android for android on the next build 
their fingerprint scanner does work uh, like I've, i'm showing you right now so this is all for today guys i hope you love this video if you really loved it vote it up and if you disliked it vote it down do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this till then bye people have a great day hope to see my next video make sure to do check the description section there are a lot more links for you to check out hey guys this is all of signing off for today